My name is James Chirillo. I'm going to speak a bit now about how to get a good rhythm sound out of an electric guitar. So what we're trying to do here is approximate the sound of that acoustic with an electric guitar so you get a good rhythm sound in the style of Freddie Green. First of all, you'll notice I brought, I mean, it's another hollow body archtop guitar. That's the best thing for playing jazz. You've got a good body of tone from an instrument like this. And that's a lot to do with it. You can get a good body of tone on a less thick guitar. Some guys can blend with horns really good with one of those. Solid bodies too, you know, but it's, it's for me, this is the instrument of choice, you know, electric wise. You notice on this guitar, I brought this one today because this has the two pickups with the holes drilled through the soundboard and mounted into the guitar. So what that basically does destroy 90% of the acoustic sound of this instrument. And I'll, I'll just turn this thing off for a second. This is what you get totally dry on this guitar. That's not going to do the band too much good because you're not getting any thunk, you're not getting any, uh, you know, that, that really hard punch. This is set up completely different. An electric guitar, you're going to have nickel wound strings because those are picked up better. The magnetic properties are picked up better with the pickup. You're going to have a lower action so that you can play your, your bebop lines or do your solo work, your eighth notes better. That's, that's a real compromise when it comes to playing an approximation of an acoustic rhythm guitar quarter note. So what we got to do, first of all, you notice I turned, I turned it all the way up for a second from the guitar and then, and then backed off probably a good 40 to 50 percent. And that's the idea because that way we can strike this thing a little stronger and not get so much body of sound from the amp. What an amp does when you have this thing full open is that it supports the length of the note much longer than that thing ever would. This thing can, this thing can ring for a long time, the acoustic guitar, when you hit a note, but because it's set so high, when you strike those notes, you get a lot of punch and then the volume level of that string comes down. With the lower level, on the, with the lower action, pardon me, on the electric guitar, that amp then will support that note. You get less of that initial punch and you get a more even and sustained tone. So if you, if you leave this all the way open while you're playing rhythm on an electric, you're just going to mush up the entire sound of the band and even if you're not too loud you're going to have this big sustained ring which is totally unnecessary and not what we're trying to do. So you back off there. The way I like to set this thing up, I get a good basic tone that I like out of the instrument and I set the volume on the amp so that when the guitar is full open I'm no louder than a horn player playing forte. If you've got this thing much louder than that, you're wrong. <laughs> you won't work with horn players. You'll work with rock rhythm sections probably or those kind of things, but you won't be working with uh, horn players too much. Because amplification, if it's a little bit too loud, what you end up doing is you're making the horn players, they're blowing harder to support their notes so that they're heard over the sound that you're making. And they should be able to phrase and inflect and do light things over anything that the rhythm section is doing. They shouldn't ever have to force their notes over what you're doing. We got the amp up to say, in this case, I think it, this thing is on three. I prefer an old Fender with tubes. I, I find you've got to have tubes to get a really natural body to your tone. And then we back this thing off a little bit now you can hear how much sustain is there just like that. 
and there's not that much of an initial punch. But that's going to come in here. And so I'm going to play a chorus of uh, I Got Rhythm, B flat. Just give you an approximation of uh, rhythm on an electric guitar in the style of Freddie Green. One, two, a one, two, three. You notice, first of all, even quarter note, I'm, I'm thinking and playing the same way that I would as if I'm playing the acoustic guitar. I've just got this thing down, so we get a little less of the, of the sustain from the amp, so I don't mush up the sound. I should be blending right in with the bass, and I should never be louder or force the horns to play louder than they ever need to play. Keep that in mind, and... Uh, you'll be an asset to the rhythm section.